Hello everybody and today I am talking all about me and today's topic is John Denver. So I've been extremely ill and I am kind of drained just doing that intro. Anyway, I've got awesome glasses on. They kind of boost my self-esteem and energy levels. Oh, these really do block out the light. Ooh, ooh, wait. Yeah, those lights are on. I got the lights working, are you proud of me? Okay, yay. Mm. Can we just also quote how like dark this makes it look? My auto white balance is off, but you, you kind of got the pitch. You, you pretty much can't see through there. <laughs> so we'll just put those to the side. Anyway, today's topic is about my music taste of John Denver. John Denver is probably the biggest name of like all my vinyl records and I have more vinyl records than I have CDs. But John Denver is definitely my favourite music artist. I literally picked up my hormone blocker video notes. Gosh darn it, I picked up the wrong note. <laughs> the bunny was sitting on it. I do apologise. John Denver is my favourite artist for music. This does exclude musicals because musicals come into a whole new genre, I feel, and I, I love musical music over any type of music. But if I had to pick an artist, it would have to be John Denver. My hair looks absolutely awful today, I do apologise. Like, I'm, I have been in bed for like two days now. This being the second day, I've, I've just been like completely dead. I'm just gonna put these glasses on it. Like, I, I can kind of see it like that. I look, I look slightly weird, but I feel a bit better. How old was I when I started loving John Denver? I must have been probably about seven. I heard a song and it was called Flying For Me. It's about the Challenger disaster, which is so meaningful for me. I just have this really strong connection to the Challenger disaster, which is basically where a rocket goes up and blows up and stuff. John Denver was meant to be going onto that plane, but instead someone he loved went on the plane instead of him. And so she then died and he was left alone and he wrote the song. I find with John Denver's music and voice, he really does cover from like just general pop to country and it's that kind of like country mixture that I really like because I just love like the sound of acoustic instruments because I've got my ukulele, guitar and stuff like that. I'm not really one for like the heavy like we will rock you kind of music, you know what I mean? You know the type of music I'm talking about? Or like the good old you get the idea, my bed is like... Shush! I give up. How can I help you today? <laughs> that looks really sexual. <laughs> Did not intend to be that way. I do apologise. Out of ten, how much do I love John Denver? I would probably say I love his music. 10 out of 10, I honestly, I could listen to it all day and all night. I would definitely say steampunk comes second in my music choices, but you know, steampunk doesn't really have a music, it's kind of just it, if that makes any sense, you know what I mean. What would have to happen for me to give up my love for John Denver's music? I would probably have to die, I'm literally going to take John Denver to the grave with me. Like, I'm, that, that probably sounds like a death wish. Please don't kill me, please, I'm innocent. I don't mean any harm. I cry. <laughs> so what is my favourite song from John Denver? I honestly, I can't, I can't really say. Like there's so many. I'm currently listening to the vinyl version, which is, which is on my LP player. Do you like the background over there? I'm kind of adding to it as we go along with this new apartment, but I'll, I'll show you what it looks like. If you didn't know, John Denver is from the vinyl era. He also was in a bit of the CD era, but mainly vinyl, which is why I've got the vinyl, because he's just... <sighs> Seemingly we look alike. You see the similarity? I don't know. People say we look alike. I need to be on orange. Where's my Donald Trump powder? I did not mean to offend Donald Trump. I love you. Yeah, I, I love Donald Trump. Mm. Mm-hmm. 
So vinyls come in a little card kind of thing of this, and they come inside of this. So this covers this, you pull it out, and how? In here you have the vinyl. The vinyl is in there, we won't get it out because I just don't want to even touch it because why would I ruin the sound? Why do I do this more? I've been doing that for the last two days. This is what I've been like for the last two days. And to be honest, I feel like that still, but you know, life goes on and we gotta keep battling on and be stronger and braver and anything like that. So the songs on this one is Annie's Songs, Welcome to My Morning, Fly Away, Like a Sad Song, Looking for Space, Baby You Look So Good to Me Tonight, Grandma's Feather Bed, Calypso, I'm Sorry, My Sweet Lady, I'd Rather Be a Cowboy, This Old Guitar. My favourite song on here is probably Annie's Song, but I also like Sunshine on My Shoulders and Country Road, Take Me Home. And trust me, this guy, John Denver, absolute legend. Like, I don't know where I'd be. I honestly, I feel like I have a really strong connection. And if you know my bucket list, it is even on my bucket list to visit his grave. Is that a bit creepy? I don't know. But he's been such an inspiration for me. In the last couple of years, I have found so many different things that helped discover me. Even like steampunk. It might have only been in the last two years I've started really loving it. But, to be honest, these last two years have been a really deep emotional level for me. Really finding out who I am, and what I like, and what I want to be in life. So on that note, thank you guys for watching, and remember the ways a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video, and hopefully I do upload tomorrow if I'm not like dead in bed. But been a struggle making this video itself so yeah and on that note goodbye